So guys ask me all the time, where do you find fit, beautiful women? Well, I just got out of my Pilates reformer class. And let me tell you, this is where you guys need to be. You need to be going to the Pilates classes, the yoga classes, those things, because the women in there, baby, they are getting it. They are killing it. Now we look a little sloppy like this. Okay. Make no makeup, hair a mess at the time, but hmm, mm -mm -mm. especially those Brazilian ones. I've got a lot to learn from those women. Okay. That's my helpful tip for today. Titties. Enjoy. If you got a problem with me, I don't really gotta care no more. Ooh. What's good, everybody? If you're the first time viewer of my content, you know, this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Today, 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 today. We are going to be looking at the lovely Melina, or excuse me, not Melina. Yeah, <laughs> Melina, she used to. Never mind, never mind. We're looking at the beautiful Melanie King, okay, with her fine self. Okay, she's in the ranks of like female content creators that I watch on social media and on YouTube when they bring out, you know, good advice concerning, you know, male content, how men feel, how women need to get themselves together, yada, 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 yada. Now, of course, I have my little dose here and there. I don't overdose on the red pill. Okay. But she puts out some very good content here and there. Somebody sent me this video and wanted to know my personal thoughts on the video because they think that it might be a little controversial might be hitting some walls with some of the stuff that I talk about, you know. So before we get into anything, make sure that you like the video. All right. And if you've been subscribing to me or if you're a first time subscriber, turn on the bell because it's personalized, might be personalized right now. Turn on all notifications, you know, so you get all of my notifications to my content. All right. But without further ado, let's get into it. Black women are high in dating because we give up sex the most. So a lot of men see us as easy targets. We have the highest rate of um, having children outside of uh, marriage, wedlock. And so men see us as bedwenches, easy to, to have sex with, but they don't see us as valuable wives. Our culture, especially in the U.S., I don't know how it is in the U.K. I know it's a little different, but we, we our family structure is so broken and so uh, destroyed that we we really the majority of black women in the U.S. Um, we've been put into a position of just being, you know, sexual uh, just for a man's sexual pleasure. We pride ourselves on things of being bosses, having the fattest booty, you know, being able to twerk the best, but not intrinsic values that is a wife. Facts. <laughs> This wasn't controversial at all, and I wholeheartedly, uh, um, I wholeheartedly agree. You know, something about in this day and age, right, in this era on social media, where there are a lot of women who are irresponsibly sexual. Okay, going out of their way to thinking that they can do whatever they want, they can live however they want. And that a man can't tell them anything, right? And that's fine and dandy, right? But there has to be a balance, okay? Because there are some women out here that can live their best life just like a man can live their best life. And they can settle down when they get the time to or when they feel like it's the right time to settle down in their late 20s, find a good man, live their good life, have children, and etc. There are women that have the decency and the privilege to do that. <laughs> However, there are some women that don't know when to stop. They don't know when to settle down. They don't know when to stop the train. And so some women, they will keep pushing. 
So now they pushing 30. 30. Now they pushing 35. And now they get to the mid 30s. Now they having a midlife crisis because they feel like they wasted all of their youth, all of their 20s and early 30s on themselves. Now they want to find a good man. Or you have some women out here that feel like, you know, they never needed a man, but they've always wanted to have a baby or something here and there. So, you know, get into the 20s. Now they have one child. Now they have two child, uh, two childs, three children, two children, three children, four children, popping them out from multiple different men. They get to their late 20s and they just sit there in, in their bed. <laughs> some of them even crying. Over what they could have done better. Over the men that they shouldn't have rejected. That's truth. That's facts. There's just no reason for a woman to be out here. Thinking that she can live her best life. Without a man. There is no reason. For a woman to be out here. Thinking that she can live her best life. Without a man. No reason. There's no reason for you to be seeking the wrong type of validation, the wrong type of attention from men, and then complaining about these type of men that you keep seeking entertainment from. You want their money, you want their time, you want their attention, you want their entertainment, but when it gets when it gets to them being in your actual life, it's an issue. When you should have never even had these type of men in your space to begin with. I can't tell you how many women have come to me and, and say, I, uh, it's just getting to a point where, where I, I, I don't think I can be with black men anymore. I just, every, every man that I keep running into, they're just trash. And, and, and you, you know, it doesn't matter what they do. It, uh, it, you know, they come off so nice. I mean, I, I've tried them all time around. I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have been ran through, run up, done up, spun up, everything, the whole nine. Okay. Been through the football team and the basketball team and the track team. Okay. You've been up on every court, tennis, basketball, hockey. <laughs> Live your best life. I ain't judging you. But you have to take some responsibility for what you do in your own life and hold yourself accountable to who you allow in between them legs. So somebody's going to look at this and be like, but Tyrone, you said there's no such thing as good and evil. So that means the queens can be queens and, and the goddesses can be goddesses. And that means even if they want to go out here and do whatever they want, it's not really bad according to you. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. If you play in traffic, you're bound to get hit. If you jump off of a cliff, you're bound to go splat. Just because you have the privilege and opportunity to do whatever you want doesn't mean that you should. Recognizing that you are God manifested in the flesh gives you the opportunity to become God manifested in the flesh and to enact that power in your will. In this world. I'm just saying. You can't be out here. Entertaining the wrong type of men. Chasing after the wrong type of men. Seeing. You literally see. The whole. Red flag. And you think it's summer waves. You see the whole red flag. And yet. You think it's, it's six flags. You think it's a, a, a beautiful amusement park. You think the red flag means, ooh, I'm going I'm to take this. And some women, they, they love to play victim. Some women try to act so gullible to the point where like they act like they don't know what this man's true intentions was. Where he wanted to be with you in the next three to four years. Was was marriage even on the table? He wasted my time. I really could have just. You wasted your own time. You wasted your own time.
but she she spoke no lies. Melanie did not say anything out of pocket. You can have your different perspectives. Of course, there are all type of different angles to this type of talk, this type of speech. But this is something that must be talked about in your everyday individual life. Okay, I'm not concerned with talking about the masses or talking about us as a people. This is just for you individually. What can you do individually, you know, culturally, um, you know, respectfully, spiritually? What can you do as a woman to become a better woman? What can you do to present yourself as wifey material? Because if you think that you can go out and about and portray yourself in a very redundant manner, you have another thing coming. If you think that a man is only supposed to accept what you Whatever you want to put out there, <laughs> you have another thing coming. If you think that you can go out here and bash men and slander men and talk about how you don't need men and talk about how men are useless in your everyday life and you expect to find a good man at your front door, you have another thing coming. You can't be talking about manifestations and you talking about you're a goddess and you're manifesting your own reality and then wondering why your reality is doo-doo. You're creating it. Every time you, you put it out, every time you say it, every time you think it, every time you text it, every time you tweet it, you are manifesting your own reality. If you keep it in constant thought, you keep saying it, what do you think is going to happen you are the molder of your own fate, of your own life. So you cannot expect for good men to show up for you, to save the day, to save you from your, your, your trials and tribulations. And you keep putting yourself in constant agony. Something has to change. Something has to shift. You have to change your mindset. You have to change your energy. Because you don't think good men can feel that energy. You don't think good men can see through you. Real recognize real. And the only reason why you keep attracting bad men is because they're only a reflection of who you are. To some extent, you have to sit down and really reflect on, am I even a good woman? Do good men even desire me? These are questions that you have to ask yourself. I'm just being real. But y'all let me know how y'all personally feel about this respectfully in the comments below. All right. Make sure you like the video. Share this with a friend or two. Check out the videos after your view. And until next time, we out.